Alright, I noticed some people are still having problems designing cutscenes in Infamous 2 even after the tutorial video from Suck It Punch. So, I'm going to give a short display on how to create one link and finish. First thing we need is a monitor, set the mission starts, line that up. Now we need to get the cutscene tool. Grab the cutscene tool, connect it, use the monitor and connect the cutscene. Let's get Zeke in here with Cole. Make a group. Zeke has his own group. I don't know why I always put green for Zeke. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Culture should probably be right here. Let's change it to dry. It'll make your cutscene look like this. Classic 1 will make it look like this. Classic 2. Another comic book issue real. Edgy. Makes it look rough. Tinted. Kind of like a sepia tone. My favorite would be dry. We got the border options. Changing this will make the offset fall off screen. I like my cutscenes to look somewhat like movie cutscenes almost. Whoops, forgot to put the minus. Minus 20 should be good for the top offsets if you're looking for a look like this. You can edit the actors and props through here. Move call, face him towards Zeke. You can edit his looks. Got neutral, neutral two, neutral three, action, action two, and a whole bunch of moves, poses, and other things that'll fit in your cutscene. Let's make Cole curious. Get Zeke here. Make him have his arms across his chest. Face him towards Cole. And exit. That will save it. Now we can add the camera. Use uh, 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 L1 or L2 to move the camera up or down. Use the left joystick to move it around. Use the right joystick to move the camera like this. You can also zoom in with triangle, zoom out with square. You can also tilt upright with R2. R1 the slow if you want to get your camera just right. Got to get Cole's face in the picture. Make it a nice over the shoulder view. Press X to accept and save. Let's test it out so far. Right now we have a blank cutscene with no text, just a picture. Add the cutscene. Now to add the text. My favorite would probably be to caption and to move the position for the first text up in the corner. Compress triangle to see it. I'll hide this for now. Best width would probably be a hundred unless you're going a 
if you're wanting your text just right to fit, you can go to 125 or higher. You can change the height. That will make the text go down a level. 10 would be a, just a perfect fit. And once we get that up, we insert some text. Let's make put call as the first. See how it looks. We we'll need to space it down. Put to 15. There you go. Whoops! Looks like I had a typo. Let's get te Zeke's ready. Change his width to 100. Height to 10, change it higher if we need to fit the text correctly, get the caption, see how it looks, now we need to move its offset, change it to Y minus 75, or anything that you would like, and X minus 75, and you have that. Let's raise it up a little. Probably 70 would be good there. Looks good. Let's get six. Now we're going to link the cutscenes. Let's take this one, duplicate it. It'll be an exact duplicate with the same specs and everything. Let's remove the text. When you're linking cutscenes, just plug it into the next cutscene monitor like this. Now apply an order like this. Hey Zeke, did you know that they had people design missions to finish our game? They did? When was this? And then we had the blank template ready for more text. Let's edit our actors. Did anyone read the GDC thing on Infamous UGC? Apparently only 5% actually wound up publishing a level. I have 15% played them more than a handful of times and Sucker Punch referred to them as UGC whales whales 
Where did they come up with that? Seek angry at Cole? Hmm. Guess we'll have him like that. to change the height there we go fits perfectly now let's test it hey Zeke did you know they had people design missions of Finera game they did when was this about a month ago they announced it Zeke they did go out to the show with them, me brother. Just change the text there a bit. Put some emotion in there. Duplicate it, connect it, clear out the text, add the actors, <coughs> add the camera view if you want to change camera views. Now, add the text again. First, we have to see. Get it nice. all over the place
almost fits there. Let's increase the width of it. Perfect. Now, to end the mission, after the cutscenes are played, connect the cutscene shot to the mission success. Now, let's play our mission, save it, and pull it. Hey Zeke, did you know they have people design missions to fit our game? They did? When was this? About a month ago, they announced it, Zeke. They did? You'll have to show it to me, brother. It's on the PlayStation blog, Zeke, entitled Infamous 2 UGC Contest Winner and Ants. Look it up, man. Will do, brother. Thanks for letting me know. Excuse me. And our mission completes after the cutscenes have played. Hope this helps pe some people out. May not, may help a few. But, hope you enjoyed watching.